All right, here with the head basketball coach of the undefeated Mitchell Monarchs, Lamont Struthers. His team wins it 52 to 34 over W.T. Woodson. Well, coach, uh, you knew W.T. Woodson coming down from Northern Virginia, very deliberate style. Coach Doug Craig's won a state title before him. What did you see from your team and able to pull away? Your defense was strong yet again. Yeah, I mean, last night we, we had a game and we were a little flat. Uh, you know, Harris just kind of tested us last night. And, and I knew coming off the emotional win against Woodside, playing against Heritage, you know, the, the energy was going to be a little low. So today we want to get back to that energy. And, and I told them, you know, this would be a good test because, you know, watching them on film, how they move the ball, how they set screens, and, and all the different things they do, we have to, you know, we try to take them out of that. And we, I think we did a good job of it. Speak a little more to that because come playoff time, as you well know, you're a veteran at this thing. You're going to see different styles and, and paces of play. Woodson's more of your half-court style with some sides. Woodside gets up and down like you guys. Heritage gets after defensively. I mean, you, you'll see that type of run potentially, and you see a three or four game in the playoff, right? Right. And, that, and that's that's one of the reasons why I told you, you know, say I want to play an out-of-town team, somebody I don't know, yeah. so we can make adjustments, you know. Mm -hmm. And then this style is something we need to, you know, because, you know, even with Maury, Maury does, and Norview, you know, does a good job of moving. So we have to, you know, I know we're going to possibly run into those 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 two teams. So that was that was good of having that type of game, you know, or some, something different you had to get, get used to. I think when you have a couple of Division One talents like E and AJ are for you, going to Appalachian State and VMI respectively, it's easy to say you're keen on them, but you're supporting cast three through nine. I think you told me back in the fall, I like my depth and my rotation on my bench. Right, yeah. I mean, we, we, we when we train and we work out, we train and work out everybody. We don't train and work out two guys. So right. People yeah. just know those two guys, right? Right, right. <laughs> you know, and so the, um, you know, the, the bench, and it, just to support guys, you know, we, we have we have some pieces. We're not we, we don't have Dallas that was six nine, six ten, but we're long mm -hmm. and we get our hands on a lot of balls and um, and, and that's you know, we chart reflections. You know, and today we got eleven I believe, you know, and that that's a low number. But but that's because of you know, what's the plays of a more deliberate style. Does it also give you some joy or maybe some needling to your, your guys that when your bench can go get you thirty points in a game? Right. More than your starters, which is 22, and almost outscore their entire team. But hey, my second unit can play with these first five. Right, right. I mean, we we challenge each other in practice. You know, we we don't we switch the teams up in practice. Sometimes we go, you know, you know start five versus um, second five, but we switch the teams up so they challenge each other. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I mean, when we sub do, we we can we can be just as strong as the first one if we come in and play. You know like we're capable of playing. And defensively, if we get after it, because we try to get after it defensively. Sure. Eric Turner gets the MVP today. He gets 12 points. It could be seven or eight guys for a given night. And uh, as you look at this team here, Coach, getting ready for the playoffs, what do you like most about this group here? And people look at the undefeated and say, oh, my goodness, can you go undefeated? It's so hard in Class 5. But how have you handled that, and what do you like most about this team to get to this point unbeaten? Well, we share the basketball. I mean, we, we, and we're very unselfish. We play for the next guy, you know, and that's how I told him that that's the only way we can win. And we can't get complacent, you know, we can't all of a sudden, okay, think, okay, I, I, got, I have to be the one that, if we get down, you know, we, I have to be the one to try to bring us back. So, I mean, last night we were down a couple times, and, and we stayed, you know, within what we do, you know, sharing the basketball. Because we had to switch it up defensively a little bit to bring the energy back, but we did it. You know, sure. so I like that we, we, can, we, can, we can play multiple styles and still compete. Sure. Lastly, you've coached your daughters, you coached your son. Allen's now playing his college ball, ETSU. Had that senior year, didn't get the chance to play because of COVID. And last year, you get to States. It's East final run, your baby boy. How excited are you for the playoffs and this opportunity, those in front of you? I'm excited about it. The guys are excited. But I'm excited because the guys are excited, you know. And, and they have a different focus, you know, because last year, as I told some of the guys, last year, even though we were juniors, we were sophomores because we didn't have a, year. a senior that, that junior year. And so it was a learning experience for us, too. And, you know, and then, we, you know, when we played more, you know, more in this season, you know, they got a good coach, they got a good system, and, you know, we had to be ready for it, you know. And, and so, I, you know, I, I'm excited about their excitement, you know, because their excitement, of course, keeps you going. Because without players, you, you know, you, you don't, you, you're only as good as your players, you know, so. A lot of winning at Mitchville High School, both of the boys and the girls will have best two in your squad as you go through the postseason. Thanks right, so thank much.